Backstage 2014, and I am joined by one of the bands that I have been told for the last two or three weeks leading up to the show that this is a must-see band live. And I've got Johnny and Paul from Nothing More, you guys. It is such a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I was side stage for your set just a little bit ago, and we, by the way, your single, This Is The Time, we are spinning it in power. It, it, awesome. It is doing incredible. And Jackie Geyser, who I'm sure you guys have met and yeah, know, yeah, yeah. she called me one day and she said, I really need you to take a listen to this band because they are going to be huge and they're incredible and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, it's okay. I'm the type of person where I hear, I hear good music. Okay, I'm going to add it. You sold the deal to me today live. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. You're Glad very we could. welcome. Glad we could. So there's not much that I know about you because you guys are kind of new on the scene. So kind of give me a little background about you guys. Um, we we've been playing for a very long time together. I I met our guitar player and bass player when I was in seventh grade. So we grew up playing together and have kind of had this dream of doing music full time and traveling pretty much our whole lives and. The, uh, the final missing piece to that puzzle was Paul, who we met about four years ago, something like that. Four or five years ago. Yeah. He was playing in a band uh, called Pandemic that we used to tour with. They're like our brother band from Louisiana, and we were the Texas band, and we trade shows. And So he joined the band, and uh, we've been making it work in one way or another ever since. So do you guys have albums or EPs or anything like that um, before? Well, I know your record isn't even out yet. When's it come out? July? Uh, June 24th. June 24th. Yeah. Okay. I'll remember that. That's my daughter's birthday. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, but do you guys have any music that previous to this that yeah, are EPs yeah. or anything that if we if we wanted to look up? Yeah. Uh, if you look up on iTunes or Spotify, we have a record called The Few Not Fleeting. That was one. Um, that was actually the first record that I started singing on. When we started, I was originally the drummer. And it was me and the guitar player and bass player. Well, that player. makes sense now that I've the, seen your show. Right, right. <laughs> I, I, I took some drums with me when yeah. I went to the singing role. And uh, so there's that record. That was our first one. And then Paul joined the band, and that's this uh, this record that's coming out. Do you think he was the missing link as far as, like, making the band complete? Uh, Not making you better. I mean, obviously, it, it, it adds us. something else. But, but what I mean is, like, you know, now you guys feel yeah. complete. Like no, you're he, not, totally. totally. Yeah. It, there was always this... Uh, we always felt like we were just limping a little bit, but we were like wanting to run really fast. And he joined the band and just everything. It was one of those uh, superhero moments yeah. where you put all your hands in. And Well, now I know you play drums, so it makes sense that for, for those of you guys who have not seen them live, and, and a lot of you haven't because they're very new to the scene, please make a point to go see them because you guys, I don't know what the hell that contraption is, but it's amazing. Is it something you guys made up? Is, that, is there a name to what that spinning guitar thing and the drums and the crazy? <laughs> the awesomeness that you guys do yeah. Well, we have our own little, uh, I don't know what you call it, our own name for it, our pet name. It's just, we call it the Basinator. The Basinator. That's not the, the that's not, we don't really tell anybody. It's just our nickname. But our bass player, Daniel, yeah. he uh, he started picking up welding just randomly one day. And He's going to start welding. Yeah. Stuff, so let's make the Basinator. Yeah, so over time, he just started, uh, I had those drums up front. Like I was saying, I, I have a kick drum and a snare, real simple setup. And originally, they were just standing there on legs. And I said, Dan, and can you make me something since you're starting to weld that I can stand on so I can jump up on my drums and jump down and not have to worry about him falling over? And uh, so he built that thing that we call Drumtron and or Vlad the Impaler. That's the other name we have for it because it does hurt a lot of people who try to carry it. Oh, man. Um, he's not very good at sanding the, the sharp edges, but he's good at building things. Right, right. And then he, uh, over time, it evolved and we had this bass solo where we got everybody on the bass at one time. And at some point, we're like, well, what if we put it on a stand? And we put it on this little shoddy, you know, jerry rig stand, you know, stand that was really crappy. And then over time, he's like, well, what if we build it out of metal and we lock it into Drumtron and we make it spin? And so he just had a bunch of spare, like, motorcycle parts with chains and bearings and, like... So the Basinator is made out just, of motorcycle parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally made out of just, like, scrap parts from cars, motorcycles, tractors. Well, before you made, built the Basinator, did you guys do stuff like that in your previous shows how new is it? is it is it pretty new um well it's it's been like uh the very first bass solo we did was so different than that yeah and it really it was born out of this 
kind of this idea that the guitar, the guitarist always gets the glory, and they always have the guitar solos, yeah. and and we're like, you know, bass solos never really get the glory because they're really boring and they sound horrible. <laughs> so, <laughs> what if uh, we could do a bass solo that actually was something that didn't sound quite like a bass? Yeah. And so we started with uh, actually with Dan just holding the bass, and Mark would come over and play on the fretboard, and I. At the time, I was playing drums before we met Paul, and I'd come out from behind the drum set and start playing with sticks. And that was kind of the the, uh, the birth of that idea. And then it just evolved in steps over time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that all of you, except for the bass player, either are barefoot or in your socks. Is there a reason? Is it because you're jumping around all the time or something? Or are I you just hippies? You tree huggers? Or, like, yeah. the... <laughs> I'm, no, I'm no hippie. I just My feet feel a little bit lighter with yeah. no shoes on, so I can play kick drums uh, faster, double bass. Yeah. So. Yeah. What kind of cardio exercise you must do to prepare yourself? I mean, nothing can compare, and com uh, like anyone can prepare for something like that on stage because it's so much energy. Do you guys do something to help you be able to pull that off night after night after night? Well, uh, I don't know. Um, before we started going on the road, we all would try to, like, when we'd rehearse, we would before we'd play each song, and we'd play like a whole set, right? And between each song, even with the guitars on and, and everything, we'd all jump down to the ground and do like 50 push-ups, 50 <laughs> jump squats, you know, 50 you guys should make like You guys should and make like a rock and roll song. exercise, like tape, Yeah, you know? we should do a DVD series. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. And throw the bassinator in there somewhere. And then in between, <laughs> in between each set, you gotta chug a beer. It shocks me. And then, me. you know, yeah, there smoke you go. a cigarette. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But it shocks me how many like um, musicians and bigger name bands too. Like yesterday, Matt from Trivium was here, and I went back uh, about an hour after I talked to him, and he invited me back to watch him uh, do his BJJ, like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu training and stuff like that. Because I'm who is that? that? Matt from Trivium, right? Oh, he does. Would you I, ever I, think of that? I, I, I should that? train uh, BJJ a little oh, bit. Oh, here we go. Well, listen, I'm training for oh, my that... first uh, MMA fight, July Are you 19th. Serious? Yeah. So Matt and I started That's talking awesome. about that, and he was like, "Come back, I'm going to be training with some black belt, amazing BJJ instructor." Um, and then I want to go. Yeah, <laughs> July <laughs> 19th. That? If you guys are in town, it's gonna stream live. So okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm super nervous, but I'm super oh, excited. God. That honestly. Uh, Look at my knuckles. I'm, oh, you're I'm all beat up. Punching back. Yeah, you got your uh, <laughs> my knuckles scars, to prove it. My wounds. Yeah. See, honestly, like playing on stage is like a nerve-wracking experience, but. Um, I've never done MMA, but I wrestled in high school and did so you know state tournaments all yeah. the time. And it's like, there's nothing more nerve-wracking than that, because it's just you and one other human being. In a cage. And you're both trying to hurt each other. <laughs> yeah. In a cage. In a cage, yeah. There's nowhere to Those go. Those nerves, nothing is <laughs> like that. My biggest fear, and it's not even a fear, I think it's more anxiety, is when, when they when the bell rings and we hit gloves like it's on you know what I mean like that anxiety and that rush and that adrenaline you know what I mean like I, I'm, gonna I'm scared I'm gonna forget everything and just start windmill yeah yeah <laughs> that's not gonna happen hopefully I will train hard enough where that will not happen <laughs> But anyway, you guys are awesome. The album drops June 24th. Um, my favorite song that you guys did today, and I don't know the name of it, but it's the MTV song. What is the actual title? Oh, yeah, it's called Mr. MTV. Please tell me that's your next single. Uh, I possibly, so. possibly. I think that is. I think that's your number yeah. one. We're actually talking about I it right now. I think it's your number one. If oh, really? you value my opinion at all, go all with right. that one. I think it's a hit. We'll add that to the yeah. uh, tally yeah. list. Of <laughs> we got nothing more here. Carolina Rebellion 2014. Please go see them live if you have an opportunity and pick up the album June 24th. Thanks, guys. Oh, thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you.